Welcome back to Digital Champions on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Mike White, and on Digital Champions, we're meeting with experts in the industry talking about tips, tricks, and trends, and everything it takes to grow a client's business. Join us today from SEO Optimizers, we have Brandon Leibowitz. Welcome to the program. Hi, thanks for having me on. My name is Brandon. I've been involved with digital marketing for the past 14 years, helping out people get more traffic to the website using search engine optimization, just helping get that free traffic from Google and just looking at ways to just help capitalize on that organic traffic that Google's willing to give out. If you optimize your website with the right keywords and do the right things that Google's looking for, they'll reward you properly. So Brandon, what's the biggest unique selling proposition? There's a lot of SEO companies out there. Everyone has their secret sauce, but what do you bring to the table that your competitors might not? Uh, well, right now it's just really quality with the backlinks and making sure that you stay up to date with everything that Google's doing because Google's algorithm is changing every single day and it's got to look at what they're looking for in terms of what trust signals, what all these signals are looking for on a website and just really trying to stay up to date, testing, seeing what works, what doesn't work and just continuously testing things out. That's really the main thing is just trying to stay up to date with everything that Google's doing. What excites you most about the industry that you're in and what scares you the most? Um, I like that it's constantly evolving and changing and I like helping people get more traffic and seeing how Google kind of works behind the scenes. But it's also a little scary because who knows what the future holds. Are there going to be search engines? What's going to happen? Are there going to be mobile devices? Are there going to be all apps? Or what's going to happen in the future? But for the time being, as long as there's websites and search engines, keep me going with the SEO. But who knows, everything is kind of up in the air with digital marketing. Everything is constantly changing. So that's kind of one thing that just what is see what the future holds. What advice would you have for someone that's entering the digital space, someone just getting out of college and wants to succeed? Uh, what are a few ways to get their foot in the door? Best is just read, read and read, read different blogs, go to different YouTube channels and just learn as much as you can because everything is constantly evolving. and what you read might be outdated tomorrow. So it's really just trying to stay up to date with all these different trends and just trying to keep yourself educated. That's really the main thing is just trying to learn and seeing what's out there and what's working nowadays. As Google cheap, keeps uh, switching its algorithms, uh, do the customers blame you or is there a credibility issue that sometimes they come and say, well, I was number one and now I'm kicked down to the second page. You must not be doing your job. Or do they have a complete understanding of how the game works? It's tough. Most clients don't really understand how it works and they see the fluctuations, the Google dance, or they'll keep you up and down and keep kind of testing you out, seeing where you want to be played or what placement works best for you. But it's, it is tough sometimes because the clients are just like, what happened? Why did I just all of a sudden drop? But that's just how Google works. And you might drop for one keyword, but you might rank for 20 other keywords or long tail variations and synonyms and plurals. So it's really just not trying to look at individual keywords, but look at overall traffic from Google, making sure that you're increasing month over month, week over week, that you're just on the right trajectory. Because as long as you do what Google wants you to do and you're not doing anything shady or black hat or gray hat, you don't really have to worry about the hour of the updates too much, but you do have to worry about your competition. That's where you get to the first page of Google. You're pushing someone off that first page of Google. They're not happy about that. They're going to look at all the backlinks you built. They're going to look at the keywords that you're utilizing. They're going to look at all the SEO you've done. And that's where they try to outrank you. So that's where you got to kind of maintain those, those rankings and look at what the competition's doing. So over, if you look at your company over the next two years, where do you see yourself adapting to continue to serve uh, what your client's needs are? Well, it's just going to keep adapting to what's out there. Are there still search engines or are we switching to something else? But really just looking for ways to get that free traffic without having to spend money on ads because ads definitely work, but if you can get up there organically, that's the main thing. That's what I prefer. So it's just trying to figure out what opportunities rise in the future and how to capitalize on those. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for joining us on the program today. We appreciate you spending your time with us. Thanks for having me on. Have a great rest of your day. To find out more about SEO optimizers and all the amazing things they can do to help you get organic traffic to your site, visit us at dailyadbrief.com. We'll see you next time on Digital Champions.